Yo, 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 what's happening, people? This is Baby and Frank Porter Porn Lab, and today we're back again with another episode. Today we're gonna cover same topic, Euler Wave Theory, but subtopic, wave extensions. So, extensions are en- elongated impulses with ex- exaggerated subdivisions. Extensions can appear in any one of the three impulsive waves. One, three, or five. Wave 3 extensions are most common. So let's see guys, let's see what they're talking about. Third wave extension. So we can see uh, from 3 and 4, there was a corrective. And from 4 to 5, it broke the third wave, which was known as the final wave, but it extended with the 4, 5, uh, what you call this impulse or multi wave? So one, two, four, and five are four waves. One, two, three, four, and five are five waves. Total nine waves, all in all. So every wave we see here is nine waves. Third wave extension of third wave extension. <laughs> So we can see here, guys, that there were minor uh, corrections in one multi wave. So they were like, uh, let me see. So the orange or reddish multi wave you can see in the middle had like three multi waves and two corrective waves. So we had two corrective waves in one multi waves. Yeah, two corrective waves yes, in one multi wave so you can see here guys so one two four and five four waves one two four five four waves one two four five five waves so, so they didn't raise all in all as demonstrated right now we can go do a simple math and just didn't waves if you count it so first wave extension nine wave sequence you can see the first wave it has nine wave sequence and the fifth wave also has a nine wave sequence it does have it just doesn't happen exactly as planned out sometimes it happens early sometimes it happens after later on once you realize that hey i shouldn't have existed a position i should have just held the trade and left it forget about it delete the account or something wave one extension of wave extension is dating wave sequence so we can see right here we have 13 wave sequence and fifth wave of extension, fifth wave extension. We also have 13 wave sequence. Hence I said it can happen before, before once you're in a trade or after a long time you're in a trade and you're still holding. You feel like yes. And you could apply your stop loss and profit like, you know, like a king, like a winner, like, you know. So... An exa- a real life example. So here we have one, one to two, two to three, three to four. So here you can see, guys, it was a downtrend going down, and you can see I could bet I can see a reversal pattern technically forming. If you're a trader, you'd also identify it. I see a reversal pattern which is like a double bottom down there. Uh, showing momentum to buy because uh, it retested it back down for the second time on the exact level and didn't close below that level. So from 1 to 2, in this case, corrective. From 2 to 3, multi. From 3 to 4, corrective. So in this case, from 4, Till the uh, what do you call this? The red level, it'll be a corrective. Then, from the red level to the upside, it'll be the motive because why price is now changing the cycle. Rules and guidelines of impulsive waves. Elude wave theory. Let me just zoom it in a bit. Impulse wave one, three, and five always subdivided into five waves. Okay. Wave 1 must be an impulse or a leading diagonal pattern. Wave 2 
never goes beyond the start of wave 1. Wave 3 never is the shortest impulse. Wave 3 must be an impulse. Wave 4 never moves beyond the end of wave 1. Wave 5 must be an impulse or an ending diagonal pattern. Wave 1, 3 and 5 can never be extended. So sometimes wave 5 does not move beyond the end of the wave 3 called trunk, trunk, truncation. Wave 5 often ends or slightly exceeds a trend line drawn off wave 3 parallel to a trend line drawn connecting the ends of wave 2 and 4. Wave 1, 3 and 5 is the usual extended where the corrective waves are small compared to the impulse wave. Wave 3 is usually the steepest and the longest wave. Usually either wave 3 or 5 is extended. Wave 4 usually ends in the vicinity of the subwave of wave 4 and 3. Fibonacci percentages are used to calculate retracement of wave 2 and 4. Wave uh, Fibonacci ratios are used to target the end of the wave 3 and 5. So like I said in my Fibonacci ratios, I use my 23.6 and I always exit once the market hits my 100 level on the Fibonacci. Unless maybe I'm holding at a swing position, maybe I might perhaps, for example, open one pair, then open two trades. One for a short term TP so that I could increase my margin, and the other one for the long term TP so that the trade could forever grow. The more it goes up in my favor, the more it goes down in my favor, I just simply apply stop loss and profit. You see, guys. So, yeah, so these are the rules and the guidelines, and we can see, guys. Um, Oh, we read the ones at the top, so I guess we're reading the ones at the bottom right now. Rules and guidelines of diagonal waves. Uh, let me just zoom it in so we can try this. A diagonal, so we're now on the rule side, don't be lost. A diagonal triangle subdivided into five waves. The leading diagonal occurs in, y, in wave one of an impulsive or wave A of a ABC correction. An ending diagonal always subdivides into three waves for each leg of the five wave sub uh, five wave sequence an ending diagonal occurs in wave five of an impulse or wave c of an abc correction wave two never goes beyond the original wave one wave three goes beyond the end of wave one wave four and wave one overlap Wave 5 always ends beyond the end of wave 3 in a leading diagonal. In a contracting diagonal waves 1, 3, 5 and waves, waves 2 and 4 decrease the size consecutively. In an expanding diagonal wave 1, 3 and 5 and wave 2 and 4 increasing the size consecutively. So we're now on the guidelines. A leading diagonal usually subdivided into five or three into five, three, five, three, five, four ways. One, two, three, four, and five. And sometimes divided into three, 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 three corrective patterns. If wave one is leading diagonal triangle, then wave three is usually extended. If wave five is the ending diagonal triangle, then wave three is usually extended. A contracting diagonal will a contracting diagonal can have the can have a failed five wave. In contracting diagonal, wave five usually ends at or slightly beyond throw over a trend line that connects the ends of wave one and three. In an expanding diagonal, wave five usually ends slightly before the trend line that connects the ends of wave 1 and 3. You see guys, so I guess we're gonna cover this topic in another video. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this topic. 
I hope you guys learned and enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so we can check out more content like that. And tell your friends to tell the other friends and the other friends to tell the other friends so they could tell the family so the family could tell the other friends and the other friends could tell their relative, the relative could tell their cousin, the cousin could tell everyone and everyone could tell the whole world. So go subscribe to Baby and Frank Forty for the new or if not the new, uh, the most dope uh, content knowledge you could ever get. So yeah, guys, uh, till next time, Baby and Friend reporting live.